Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. In this video, I've got some really interesting and fun guitars to share with you guys, and we're gonna be focusing on Filtertron pickups. What makes them different from other models, from say Gretsch or TV Jones, and how are they unique from a regular humbucker? So we're gonna dive into all of that, and of course, compare some tones between common Filtertron pickups, and hopefully help you guys find the right pickup for you. Now you all know if we're talking Filtertron pickups, we gotta break out the creamsicle. This guitar clearly has a lot of things going on at once, one of them being some TV Jones Filtertron pickups. So very unique look as you can see, they look different from humbuckers and single coils and they sound different as well. So you know if you're looking for a different tone in your arsenal or you just want to have a guitar that might be uh, you know sounds slightly different than everybody else, you might want to check out some Filtertrons which we are going to do today. All right, so let's kick things off by looking at the guitars we're gonna compare today. So we've got two guitars featuring TV Jones pickups and two guitars featuring Gretsch pickups. So that should really encompass um, a lot of the categories within Filtertron pickups. Here we go, let's check out the guitars. Now guitar number one, we actually built up on a few different videos on the channel. The last one basically being uh, taking a guitar that's routed for single coils and making it accept Filtertron pickups. Now I put in a set of JBE Tron pickups, very, very nice. Those ended up in a duo jet and I have TV Jones Powertron pickups here, which are a thicker, more well, the closer to, I think, a traditional humbucker. We'll see if that holds true when we do our tone test. But anyway, these are TV Jones Powertron pickups. Um, we've got an American Performer neck, thin line body, and surf green. Very cool guitar. Now, guitar number two is the Fender Super Deluxe Thin Line, perfect for when subtlety is overrated. Uh, this one has TV Jones as well, but these are the classics. So, Surf Green one has the Powertrons versus the Classics. So we'll be able to sort of, uh, yeah, do a little bit of an AB and hopefully uh, figure out which one you guys like better uh, because they do sound very different. Now, TV Jones really has one of the best reputations for being able to reproduce the original Filtertron pickups. So we've got the Classics versus a little bit more modern Powertrons. Let's move on to Gretsch. Now, guitar number three is the Gretsch Electromatic ProJet. So this is Gretsch's entry-level line, made in China, really nice instruments. These feature the Gretsch Blacktop Tron pickups. So I have a creeping suspicion they'll sound closer to the Power Trons because I think they are a little thicker, a little more modern sounding than the traditional offerings. And guitar number four is the Green Beast. This is the Gretsch 6118 anniversary model um, featuring Gretsch's high sensitivity Filtertron pickups, which are found on Gretsch's, you know, highest end guitars. So it'll be interesting, uh, at least for me, to compare, you know, Gretsch's high end Filtertrons versus TV Jones Classics and the Blacktop uh, Trons from Gretsch versus the Power Trons, which of course we're gonna do. So these are the four guitars we're using today. All right, so the stage has been set. Now, if you guys wanna jump ahead to the tone test, feel free to do that now. I'll do a breakdown of all the times in this video there. You can just click on a time, it will take you to the section. But now I wanna talk about how this pickup came to be and how it combines some of the best elements of a single coil pickup and a humbucker pickup into one super pickup. Now, as Seth Lover was working with Gibson in the 50s to develop the humbucking pickup, so was a gentleman named Ray Butts. He was working with Chet Atkins, and they were working on sort of a separate but parallel path to create a pickup that would eliminate 60 cycle hum. Now, Seth Lover would famously beat him with the patent applied for pickup, and that would come out in 1957. But at the same time, but in a totally different way, uh, Ray Butts accomplished that with the Filtertron pickup. Now, Ray contends that he is the original designer of the first humbucking pickup, but that Gibson and Seth Lover were quicker to file all the paperwork and receive the patents. So there's a little bit of a rivalry going on there as to who actually, you know, invented the first humbucking pickup, but it was very, very close. So, of course, the question becomes, how is a Filtertron different than you know, a typical humbucker? Well, in almost every way. So it comes down to the footprint. The Filtertron, much smaller pickup, uh, which means the, the coils are closer together, which means the pull pieces are closer together. Now, the bobbins themselves are quite a bit taller than your average humbucker, which is, you know, quite squat. So they have really tall bobbins, close coils, close pull pieces. They have stronger magnets, 
and lower resistance. So the resistance on, you know, a typical Filtertron pickup might be three to five K, which is, you know, way lower than, you know, your typical Fender single coil, which could be, you know, six to eight. So very low resistance, but big magnets, tall bobbins, you know, close coils and pole pieces make for a very unique sounding pickup. All right, so let's kick off our tone test. Let's start off by comparing the two TV Jones pickups. So the classics versus the Powertrons and then the two Gretsch pickups. And then we'll kind of mix and match and do a little bit of a TV Jones versus Gretsch, which should be pretty interesting. As per usual, I'm plugged into my Blue Angel amp, mic'd up with a Rode NT1 and an SR25 from Earthworks. Here we go, let's start the comparison. Well, that was an interesting comparison. We'll talk about what I thought about each instrument at the end here. Now what we're gonna do is try to do a little bit more of a direct TV Jones versus Gretsch comparison. So we're gonna start with TV Jones Classics and then the Gretsch High Sensitivity Filtertrons, so the high-end ones. And then we're gonna do the TV Jones Powertron versus the Black Tops. All right, here we go. <music>
Now based on the comparison we just did, let's start with the TV Jones Classics. These ones are very well regarded and I can see why. They're bright, they're articulate, they're chimey, and they have that kind of vintage tone that you hear in your head when you think of a Filtatron. So if you want that type of tone, I think these ones stood out from the crowd. Now moving on to the Gretsch High Sensitivity Filtatrons, I was surprised at how warm these pickups were. They didn't have the bite of the classics and a ton more mid-range. So this was actually a pretty full sounding pickup um, and I thought it sounded really nice. Now moving back to TV Jones, these are the Powertron pickups. They're supposed to be a little bit closer to a humbucker and I can see why. Still lots of really pleasing high end, not as much chime as the TV Jones classics, but still very pleasing high end and just fuller throughout the rest of the spectrum, especially in the lower end. So really great for kind of gritty sounds, for blues. Um, I think the clean sounds are really warm and nice too. So um, a nice balanced pickup, really one of my favorites as well. And finally, we've got the Gretsch Blacktop Filtertron pickups. Really interesting pickup. I did feel like they they compared quite well to the Powertrons in terms of like the grunt, the low end, uh, the ability to just kick out some sweet overdrive tones like Filtertron pickups are known for. Um, but there was some differences in the high end between this pickup uh, and uh, the Powertrons. So the Powertrons, well, both the TV Jones pickups, I felt like the high end was really sweet. Even though they were bright and chimey, uh, it was never too strident. And, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but they didn't have like the complexity in the high end. There was lots of high end in this pickup, but it was a little bit more strident and, you know, kind of straight ahead. Whereas maybe the TV Jones were a little bit sweeter or complex. I'm not sure how to word that, but if you listen back and forth, uh, you, can do, you can hear a difference in the high end, but these are good pickups. So if you guys just want a quick EQ profile of these pickups, I would say from brightest to kind of fullest, it would be TV Jones Classics. And then the Powertrons and the Black Tops would be somewhere in between for sure. And in a surprising uh, event, I think the Gretsch uh, high sensitivity Filtertrons were the warmest. Um, still lots of nice high end, very pleasing pickup. Um, but I would have assumed that it would be, you know, right there with the classic and it really wasn't. It was very different. So interesting result there. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel and all my personal links are down in the video description as well, including t-shirt store, tab store, Patreon, all that stuff is down there. Other than that, have an amazing week, you guys. Take care.